And we're back with some more RimWorld. And before we get onto this new curtain wall we're building, I just thought I'd point out, this is quite possibly the most RimWorld fridge of all RimWorld fridges. We put in this statue here, which is, but it ended up with a skull inside it. So now there's actually a double skull. You see the skull at the top of the statue, and then the skull that actually of got dumped inside it of Zira, which I think is, yeah, this person right here. Uh, yeah, careful shooters end up in our fridge a lot, namely because any careful shooters get their skull extracted and then usually people then just cart the body to the fridge to our corpse storage. So, yeah, so, a, a skull statue surrounded by human meat and human leather. This is uh, by far the darkest, darkest of bases I've run. Okay, but uh, Jade. People have been recommending we use Jade to replace all of our walls. Now, originally I was going to use slate for all the walls and have a black base so to suit the colour of the hearts of our colonists, but uh, Jade wall sounds much more... I'm never going to get a chance to make a jade base ever again now, am I? So, yeah, I think we're going to turn this entire base into jade. We'll have to farm a lot of jade. We'll just have to kill a lot of people to do it. Anyway, to uh, farm those people, I'm building walls. We're going to build a curtain wall all the way around the outside of our base and leave a gap right here, right where their terrain affordance is pretty terrible and it'll be slow for them to get in. That way we can funnel them all into that one spot. And I should have thought of this earlier, you see... All we have to do is put some turrets on the inside of the walls. Don't even have to be powered, and those turrets will discourage the sappers from attacking the walls. That means everything will come in the one direction, which makes our lives so much simpler and safer. Yeah, should have thought of that a while back. Would have saved us so much more pain. Paul would not be looking quite so peaked right now. All right, let's uh, skip forward time a bit while we wait for our next attack wave, which will be in four hours. Though I don't think we need any more meat for the fridge. Yeah, well, I think we're good on that front for just a little while longer. Oh, and we're going to have to sell all our beer. Uh, I realized something. People who drink beer get a mood debuff. Actually, let me go grab Sean Bjog. This is how I discovered it. It was mentioned in the comments until... And then I went in... Uh, actually, had a look at here. Eight non-cannibal non food. Minus four mood. Because they drank a beer. Beer counts as food, it seems, so... um, Can't drink beer if you're a cannibal. What a trade-off. That is kind of horrifying. You can, you can eat as many people as you want, but you can't drink beer. Oh, and uh, Turtle here has been finally converted over to an Eminist. And we're going to send in Carl with their... Uh, Carl actually has an Inspired Recruitment. We don't need to use an Inspired Recruitment on them. It's just by using the Inspired Recruitment, we get to release them from prison without giving them any mood negatives. Yeah, it's one of those tricks I picked up ages ago. Plus, we've got an Inspired Recruitment. We might as well use it. We've no other uh, potential recruits coming along soon. All right, once we've got about an hour left... Yeah, once we're down to the hour mark, we're going to have to... Uh, bring everyone back inside and get ready for the next wave. Let's hope it's nothing too nasty. And let's see what today's attack will bring. One second, zero seconds, incredibly long pause, and raid. Okay, breacher walls. Yeah, there's always oh, seems to be a lot of wall breachers, doesn't there? Numbers, enemies, we got 220. Perfect, traits. Ooh, Nothing too wonderful. We're always looking for those trigger-happy toughs, but oh, they're just not coming along. I'm trying to keep an eye out for a tough brawler nimble. They're supposedly the uh, trifecta of amazing brawlers, and I'd like to get my hands on one just to see what they're like. And we're never going to get a chance like this to have so many people to, to pick through, to, to pick out ones we'd like. Also, I'd really like to get my hands on a trigger-happy tough bloodlust, though I'm not sure if that's even possible. Is there no tough people? Oh, there's bugger all. Oh, never mind, at least we have plenty of skulls for the skull pile. All right, let's get everyone together. I'm thinking along here would be our best bet. Oh, and uh, right now we only have two pawns that are set up as marksmen. It's heavy metal pie and light wave. Paul is still in and out of the hospital bed all the time, recovering from their wounds. And Carol was kind of uh, very essential in getting gun turrets knocked out. But anyway, uh, we will place everyone here and let it all the action kick off. I do like that our base is so small, everyone can get into position just incredibly quickly. All right, come on. Everyone is done. That actually went incredibly well. Uh, Lightwave is going to be our marksmanship command popper, which means Brian. Pull back just a tad there, buddy. Uh, here they come. Well, you can tell where they're about to hit our kill box. Well, kill kill hexagon? Hexa kill box? You know, whatever you want to call it. It's just where the corpses are. Come on, here they come. Here they come. Or not. Let's just enjoy the bullet hell. It's so much fun watching these miniguns shred tribals like this. Yeah, yeah. This is just 
nope, nope, they changed their minds, they're coming back. Nope, they're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I wanna see, how many people are leveling up? Dear Lord, Douglas just reached 18 in shooting. Good job, Douglas! Congratulations to Aaron as well for hitting 10, and Steven for hitting 9. Ali Piper has just reached 18 in shooting. Well, they seem to be rethinking their life choices. Honestly, I can't blame them. I'm sure they'll come back at some point. And when they do, we'll be waiting for them. This is taking too long. We have 13 hours left until the next raid comes in, and we haven't had time to build the walls. Seriously, just, just come forward and die. Oh, I hate going out into field combat like this, but we don't really have much of a choice right now. Yeah, well, at least they're going to be bunched up. Yeah, this makes me nervous. Oh, congratulations, uh, Alvarez. You've hit eight in shooting, even though we didn't want you. Oh my god. Like, there seems to be just sort of this point here where as they start to get past it, their numbers dwindle faster than they can squeeze through around the corner. Yep, yeah, that works. And Azul Crescent has reached level 13 in shooting. Well, that's uh, a good day. Then, in that case, uh, let's... Oh, there's only three people, to, two people to capture? Two or three people to capture. We really did mean to capture some prisoners, so let's capture a few. Yeah, we have to do executions, don't we? Mm. Yeah, never mind. That's, uh, that's the fun stuff for later. Building this outer curtain wall is taking a little bit longer than we'd like, namely because, well, it's really far away from our core base. At the same time, oh, actually bring everyone back inside, it's coming up on the time. And at the same time, yeah, it took us a long time to deal with that last wave. After this next wave, we should be able to finish most of this side. Then we can start worrying about, ooh, these sections. I think once we get that done, though, it'll drastically make things, well, it'll make things drastically easier to take care of because we'll know exactly where they're coming from. Assuming it works. Okay, raid. They are attacking immediately, tend to breach your walls. Well, what's new? It seems like that's the, their preferred method is, we're going to come in and breach your walls. What have you got against our walls? Fine, there is 228 of them. Grand, so let's have a look, see if there's any fun ones. This is actually a very weak selection. Not really a lot of good ones to choose from. Not even a lot of careful shooters to harvest. Wow, that is just weak sauce today from you guys. All right, let's, uh, ooh, where are you going to hit? Probably around here somewhere. We'll sort of lean a little bit to the left and get everyone in this section. While I was getting everyone to position, this quest showed up. I'd forgotten about this one. It, I assume it happened at some point and I just never noticed. Recently a large scouting party, oh, whatever. Let's have a quick view of the quest. This looks very doable. Um, the Exodus Empire recently lost a scouting party, a pack of 97 man-hunting megaslots. He wants to draw the beast towards you to be killed to uphold her honour. The megaslots will arrive at unbothered alpacas 21 hours after you accept. A resurrector mech serum by three? Yes, 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 please. A psychic sensitizer, a psychic... No, yeah, no, we'll, we'll go for the three resurrector mech serums. I don't even know when this one hit. Um, yeah, stick to accept the crest for the rewards. And I mean, it's going to go to unbothered alpacas. That's not even this settlement. This is a combat tile. This is going towards our quest... Oh. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so kindly for that. That, uh... When did that show up? Uh, new recruit. Turtle... Oh, that reminds me. we got to give Turtle a name, don't we? Actually, let's give Turtle a name before they blood themselves. Uh, if we check on our colonists here, you'll notice that when it comes to kills human-like... Oh, come on. Turtle here is completely new and hasn't actually managed to pop anyone just yet. So let's give them, let's wait until they pop someone and then give them their name. You, you gotta kill someone to get a name in this colony. Yeah, we're, we're going that direction. Alright, I think everyone's just about in position. Uh, where's Paul? Or who's the person who's generating that uh, marksmanship field? I think we got everyone lined up sufficiently. And then I think we've got, yeah, more than sufficient firepower to take care of the problem. Now, if the rest of you would hurry on over, we could uh, take care of this in a timely fashion, if you wouldn't mind. And I love the way that our bullets can only reach out to about here, but the corpse explosions can reach out to about there. <laughs> come on. Come on. Little bit closer. Little bit closer. <laughs> Alright, I will admit the, uh, the leveling up sounds may be a little bit louder than I anticipated. But it's just so nice to know how good everyone's getting at their shooting. That was beautiful. The guy got skipped right back into the line of fire and then instantly killed. 
Ah. Ooh, jewels up to level 10. Oh, come on, will the rest of you just die? Give her up. You have no hope. You have turned on the bullet hose, and your lives are forfeit. Uh-oh. Injuries. Now, the one to Brian is fine. It's just a bruise to his torso from a great bow. Poor Zeng here. They got hit right in the left middle toe by a breech axe. Have you seen the size of those breech axes? Can you imagine getting hit in the toe with one of those? Has he only managed to hit the left middle toe and not the toes either side? No idea. This game is just magical at times. Well, we're here, I should point out, we've started people cooking and we are now producing carnivore fine meals. It was a new introduction with ideology where you could make new types of meals. Uh, for example, if you go to the electric stove here, you can see you've got simple meals, fine meals, which are a mix of meat and veg, and then carnivore fine meals, which are actually just meat, but take 25, well, 50% more resources. And instead of uh, 0.5 resources, it takes 0.75. So making a meal that gives you the same bonus as a fine meal, what costs you more to make? But considering how much meat we've got our access to, this is uh, not really a cost. <laughs> we, we don't care so much. All right, everyone, uh, now get back to the walls. I want those walls finished. I'm making most of them out of limestone, the rest of it probably out of sandstone. We'll replace it all with something better later on, but for now, you know, everyone's just getting their recreation, sleep, and uh, general on. I completely forgot. Turtle here has managed to blood themselves. They have three kills under their belt after just one day on the line, which, you know, pretty good start if I do say so. Please welcome Suborbital to the team. Suborbital will be uh, going to be becoming a long-term crafter, especially with that great memory trait. Now I just gotta get them together a cra oh, tailoring bench. No, no, no. We'll get them together a tailoring bench after the walls are complete, people. Come on, I want to see those walls built up as soon as possible. We're going to have a quick ceremony to turn Paul Platt into, back into a DACA specialist again. We keep losing all our specialists the moment we modify our religion, it's really annoying, but we've got Light Wave, Heavy Metal Pie, Paul Platt will be back up, and Carl will be back on board as well. I think we'll do Carl straight away after this one. We should be able to get him done before the next one hits. Uh, which reminds me, what's the temperatures around here now? 24C, we're going to have to go and take care of that uh, climate adjuster at some point, otherwise it's going to cause us even more problems. Well, it's going to cause us problems because it's going to get hotter and hotter as summer kicks in. You guys can all drop your inventory, and once Sean Bug dro drops you off there, we're gonna be up to leading roll change? No, you can leave the roll change. And off you go. Done, done, and done. Wall wise, yeah, we're slowly but surely getting it done, but still not fast enough. Come on, people. Can't you prioritize? I've stopped all other building projects to make sure that the only thing they've got left to build is the walls, and that's it. We're bringing everyone back inside to prepare for the next wave. We still have not finished the wall. It, it takes time. It takes time. All right, everyone, get it together. We're about to be intact again. Probably with someone trying to smash through our walls again, but it's fine. We're used to this. You're, you're, you're solid now. All right, this is taking... This is taking a long time to load. I don't like that. That took a really, really, really long time to load. What is this? Uh, they prepare for a while and then attack. Okay. What are we dealing with? 444. That's, that's a fair few. Uh, just trigger happy tough guy. Let's see if there's any worth recruiting though, realistically. I don't know if we're gonna have time. That's just so many. To try and help deal with this uh, collection coming our way, I've decided we're gonna stick together a couple of mortars to trigger stuff like this. This is also 400 enemies. Hmm, we've got a problem. With 200, we can deal with that, but 400 is too much. I'm not sure we can. Manhunter pack? Wait a minute. Yeah, this is back at our old base. Uh, oh no. Bunch of angry megaslots have shown up. You know what, let's uh, wake up this... Let's wake up this section. There we go. Now those mega slots have something to fight. I would love to stick around and watch it, but unfortunately we don't have time. Uh, yeah, mechanoids have been ascended. Yeah, yeah, whoever cares. We're going to try and get a mortar together to trigger these guys to attack and also hopefully soften them up. Thankfully, we have... There's a... Uh, since the upgrade to ideology, though... Where are you going? Hauling him in there. You should be able to... No, who's bringing the steel to that? Someone better be coming. Ali is. Exit. We're going to put someone on the mortar who's got really good shooting skills, because that's what counts nowadays. So Ali's actually really good, and Douglas. You know, Douglas, the moment you are finished that, you're going straight to Mortar Town. Well, once you've finished your carnivore meal. Yeah, I'm not making the carnivore meals fast enough. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about that. Anyway, uh, for now, 
Let's see if we can't get these mortars manned and ready to go. Mortars manned. Manned and woman, whatever you want to call it. And we'll just aim in the center there. Yeah, we've got ground targeter installed, excellent. So we'll just smash that right there, get rid of hold fire, and then let's see how accurate these two are. Come on. And boom. All right, we'll uh, have you hold fire again, just until those two hit, just in case this doesn't trigger them. Somehow I think, though, this might trigger them just a little bit. Come on. Oh, yeah. I think we hit something. Oh, got it. A lot of somethings. Oh, my God. Ah, beautiful. That is 45 dead. 45 with just two mortar shots. Improved accuracy and good mortars. Hells, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can't get ourselves another 90 kill or another 45 kills before this ends. There's got to be a few injuries in there as well. Okay, you guys finished reloading. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it, we're not getting off another round. They've uh, started their assault. Well, I can't really blame them too much. Uh, all right, let's get everyone onto the firing lines. So, I think we need some way to cause them to pop out of each other. There's too much and they're too dense. So I think Tessex is going to be taking a, a front row to get a little bit closer to them. Oh my god, the massive blob of them. Though, oh, they are actually spreading out naturally. I suppose getting hit by a mortar will make you uh, decide to spread out just a tad. Now where are they heading? Let's get a good eyeball on them. Hmm. That rock's going to spit them, but I'm thinking they're going to hit somewhere around here. So we should probably bunch up around this section. All right, it's all about to kick off, and I've sent Tessex forward just a little bit. I want them to actually draw fire, or, well, cause them to pop out of each other, because they can invisibilize at least to protect themselves if things go horribly wrong. Oh, that sounds like things are going horribly wrong. Uh, let's just do a quick jump over here, shall we? And let's see what they're thinking. No, they're not popping out of each other. They really should be with someone this close. Uh, invisibility? Yep. Perfect. Oop, oop. Yeah, I think, you know what? We're gonna jump shit out of there again. That, that turned out to be incredibly dangerous. Oh dear lord, would you two break up and stop being so close together? Okay, you three can kill that guy. You three can kill that guy. Hey, you three can kill... Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Just do what you're gonna do. I didn't pop the marksmanship command. Sloppy. Oh, dear lord. There's so many of them. Come on, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Don't stop shooting. Christ. Uh, I want you to use Chaos Skip on that one, please. Okay, Jesus. How many of them is there left? Nope, oh, that's our colonists. Enemies-wise, we're looking at 321. Okay, we still have not killed nearly enough of these. Um, hmm. Does anyone have a shield buff? I, I think we kind of need to use it. This is an insanely large raid. Holy Christ, and to think we mortared them first as well. Okay, that is good, but that means we need to take all of you, that one, and we need to put you in here. Yep. There? Oh god. Come on, I need everyone moving. Get to your new positions. Quickly, 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 quickly. Uh, hmm. Alvarez, I'm gonna want you to target that one, then that one. Then that one, then that one. Oh, Christ, Mitchell died. Okay, that's bad. Why is this raid giving us so much trouble? Holy Christ. Okay, okay, uh, too many close combat people and too many more coming. Oh my god. The swarm arrives. Okay, Tessex. Oh god, uh, where are we going to hide them? There, I suppose. That'll put you under the shield, at least. Uh, you know what? Don't care. Miniguns at close range or not, we need to break some of these. You need to go. You need to go. 
Eh, you need to go. Seriously, do you think some of them would have decided today was a bad day? You're down to 215. You've lost over... You've lost nearly 200 people, and you're still coming. I admire your moxie. But I wish you'd just die. God damn it, that hurt. Sorry, Mitchell. That is just... Mm, one of our best constructors, too. God damn it. Mm. We have 16 hours until the next group of enemies arrive. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. And we haven't even finished our walls. Oh, Christ. Damn it, damn it, damn it! All right, so... Good news, bad news. Uh, bad news, our immoral guide is no longer present. As in, Mitchell was our moral guide guy, and they're, they're dead. That's a very big negative. And we never even got to get them up to level 5 in sidecasting, which is also really annoying. Though I am thinking, didn't we take that quest really recently? Um, where was it? The Unstoppable Mega Slots, which gives us three Resurrector Mech Serums. Um, fridge? Yeah, I'm thinking fridge. We just have to make sure they don't end up getting diced in the fridge. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to... Yeah, no, we, we, could, we, could, we can keep doing the fridge and make sure nothing bad happens to them. That can be done. Uh, we should probably build our sarcophagus in there. And then once we get the Resurrector Mech Serum, we should be fine. Uh, keeping Ali happy in the meantime is going to be a big problem. We kind of killed her husband a while back, uh, so that was giving her a minus 20 already, which was not helping. Then Mitchell was her son, so that's also a problem. She just also witnessed a family member's death, and she witnessed an ally's death. So, oh, that's going to be really hard to keep her from going absolutely insane and berserk. Uh, I'm cheesing. I don't care. I've got to keep this colony alive, and the only way I can think to do it is to cheese this a little bit, at least until we get our curtain wall built. Once the curtain wall is built, we then have a chance. Oh, all right. Give me a few minutes. I need to get things sorted. Oh, one last thing to note. The shield pop is still active. Where is it? Uh, here. There's still seven seconds left on the shield pop. That's how quickly everything happened. Everything happened that fast. We're killing people just incredibly quickly. Our miniguns are mowing people down faster than you would ever assume possible. It's just... They're showing so many bodies at us, we just can't kill them fast enough. It's, it's a hell of a Zerg strategy. i got to give it to them. All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. i got to start prioritizing medical care. Another fun thing to note. There's uh, 17 injured people we could capture here. 17. What the hell? Ah, oh, so many of them. That was just a ridiculous fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cheese this a bit until we can at least stabilize. The plan is just, I want to get that wall up. So I am going to cheese and leave, we have a bunch of people leave the site before the attacks arrive. We'll leave enough that we can keep our fridges well stocked, but until we get these walls finished and we have a hope of holding off stuff like that in the future, I am not risking the whole health of the colony again. I can't do it. Too much time has been invested. I really do want those jade walls so badly. How much jade we got so far? Up to 544 jade. We can totally make this entire base out of jade. Everyone's mood is maybe a little bit low right now. Uh, most of the medical tending is almost finished. And we've got another attack due in nine hours. God, this this combat tile feeling is is good. It's it's bad but good. You know what I mean? Ugh. All right. Uh, I think who's next up? Paul. You've still got a marksmanship command to go. Yeah, I think Paul will be the next one up. Oh Christ! And what was that? Miko level nine in construction. Excellent. Keep building those walls. We want those walls done as soon as possible. Uh, yes. I, I'm sorry about the cheesing that's about to happen, but I, I can't. I, I just can't risk the whole colony. Oh, and while we're at it, let's check out what happened to those yet. The, the mega slots over here, from what I can see, they wiped out all of the uh, the mechanoids. A few of them will still pop out. For example, this will assemble a lancer in 0.6 of a day, and this will assemble another lancer, but they're going to end up dead. Oh, there's a scyther coming out of that one. We might be able to go back in there and grab some of this stuff. The, the mortar has not initiated. 1.8 days left on that. Hmm. Once these uh, mega slots decide to take a nap, or bugger off or do whatever they're going to do, we can just go in and claim it. I mean, we should get the drop pods in with the resurrected mixer, and we might be able to go back and get those unstable power cells. Sometimes things just work out. Ali is currently hammering down every single drug we've got available. She's taken the Psych IT, she's taken the Ambrosia, she's taken the lot. Uh, yeah, I hope she can hold it together. We may have to do a few caravan tricks with her to keep her from mentally breaking all the time. All right. Uh... 
Dear Lord, Stephen, what's wrong with you? T-Pag reached level one in social. What? How? How did... You know what? I don't care. How are you so bad at construction? You're, you're nine? Oh, yeah, you, you've been just not beaten out of you recently. Never mind. Only eight seconds until the enemies arrived, and we've sent everyone on a caravan outside of the place. Uh, we'll just have them rest for the moment. And then the raid should hit. It should be tiny. Yeah, I know. This is weak sauce, but I just... I'm not risking it. I can't do it. We have come so far. And we'll move everyone back in and get them back to... Ooh. Looks like they all ended up really close by. You know what? I'm okay with that. You guys just uh, bunch up there. Take care of the problem now. And... Problem solved. Well, that's a quick way of taking care of problems. All right, everyone. Back to work. We're also going to need to get you all... Uh, whole bunch of medical attention. Look at them all, they're just covered in bandages everywhere. This is the most beaten group you've ever seen. Numbers-wise, though, they're also a bunch of raging lunatics. Uh, Soba Orbital is already up to nine. Remember, they started on zero kills today. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people are now in the Centurion Club. Uh, we've got Magnus Leiden, Azul Crescent, uh, Zheng Jin, Paul Platt, Douglas... Hey, what's going on? Uh, Douglas Finney, Tex, uh, Tessex, Ali Piper, and Carol Wallace. All in the Centurion Club, and I think we'll have a few more before the end of the day anyway. All right, let's get this wall built. I've set it to all recreation, but I don't think it's going to help. I mean, you've got to look at the amount of mood buff she's getting. She's getting plus 16 for a night out at night, and it's still barely keeping her above... Well, it's not even keeping her in the, the mid-break thresholds. Just that minus 40? Like, how? How are we supposed to do anything about that? It'll be at least... Oh my god, and friend is dead as well? She, he can't be both your son and your friend, right? That's just cheating. You can't... Seriously, you're, you're just you're just milking it for drama at this point. Pick one or the other. You can't have both. All right. Uh, wall down. That side's almost finished. Time to start queuing up the rest. The wall up this side will be all sandstone, namely because we just have a thousand of the stuff lying about the place. Oh, look. Mechanoids have been assembled to defend their cluster. Defend your cluster. Oh, you're dead. Never mind. Ah, uh, seriously, are these things not exhausted yet? Once these things get exhausted, they'll bugger off and we can go get a Resurrector Mech Serum. Don't worry, Mitchell. You're, we'll save you. You don't look so good right now, but trust me, once you jab you with a Resurrector Mech Serum, you'll be on your feet lickety-split. All right, uh, there's still one dead guy alive out here. Where is he? That guy. You, Trusha? Yeah, one hour left. Trigger-happy, fast-walking pessimist. You know what? Who cares? Uh, well, we will probably take their skill anyway. See, how many skills are we up to? 110. You know what? Grab, bring in all the skills. I want to make sure we have enough skills everywhere. Enough skills for our later plans. No. You know what? I'm going to zoom this out here and time lapse it a bit. We're going to be uh, cheesing things a little bit, but let's just time lapse it until we've got all the walls done. The walls are coming up on close to finished, but. Not quite. Soon, hopefully. Uh, but it's time to have a little bit of an Irish wake for Mitchell here. I mean, it's not going to be permanent, preferably, but if we don't do it, everyone's going to get pretty sad. So Magnus has been promoted to the Immoral Guide. We're going to have them start the ceremony. Uh, heartwarming. Expected quality 100%. Moral Guide is present. Yeah, let's let's hope this works out well. This, this would be nice if everyone could be happy, a little bit happier after this. But they are doing it in a fridge. Hmm. On the right side, Mitchell, I think, put more than a few people in that fridge to start with. Oh, and... Yeah, we need to execute some of those prisoners. That's next up. Ah, it's a good Irish wake. All right, then. Does that help everyone feel a little bit better, maybe? Uh, no, you're already way too happy. Ali, you're the one who's got the worst mood going on at the moment. A good funeral. Okay, everyone gets a plus five for six days. Okay, okay, that'll work. Though, assuming we can bring them back to life, that's going to be a bit awkward. Now, uh, where was it again? Who was it again? Magnus, where are you? I want you to have a quick word with Ali. Namely, we want to see if we, we can make her forget one of those nasty memories she's got. Uh, cancel. Offer counsel to a person to cancel the effect of a sad memory. Uh, dispense on relationships, a skill, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, let's see if this works. Uh, Cancelling the moody impact of a minus 20? What? Okay, so she's going to have a plus 20 for 17 days. That's... 
Oh, that's the husband. It doesn't actually remove the memory. All it does is it gives a counteracting mood positive, cancelling it out. That? That worked. Yeah, we turned Magnus into, um, well, we promoted them to the Immoral Guide because, well, no one else was really good enough for it, or they all had traits that would have made them bad at it. We needed someone with good social skill as well, so we were a little bit limited on a lot of fronts. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's finish off the last of the walls. That should keep Ali going. Hmm. That should keep Ali going a little while longer, which also reminds me, it's time for one of those executions we should have done a while back. Um, yeah, this is going to help everyone's mood as well. So, we'll start that one up. Now, before you start feeling sorry for poor Lululul over here, just remember they're a pyromaniac. So, you know, I don't think anyone wants to really... I don't think anyone's really going to complain about a pyromaniac going the way of the dinosaurs. And... Done. Public execution has been completed. How's everyone's mood after that? Good. Satisfying execution plus six. So we were at negative three. Now we're at plus six. It's a nine-point swing. That works. That mood bar is starting to look an awful, awful lot better. All right, excellent. Let's just finish off the walls and get into gun turrets. Well, we have been busy working on the wall, our home tile has also been rather busy. Uh, namely, all of the mega slots. There's one left, as far as I can tell. Uh, the, there's now a lancer and a t two lancers and a couple of scythers are actually just spawned out of these recently. They're the last mechs that'll be produced out of this, and I'm pretty sure they're beelining towards the, uh, the mega slot. Also, the base has been mostly trashed. I think a lancer went around and killed most of the stuff. Set off the fire foam popper, so the place is an absolute mess. But we also have a raid from about 10 humans showing up. So hopefully those 10 humans wipe out that mega sloth, and when they do, the resurrector mech serum will drop. Uh, that's the hope. All right. In the meantime, let's just finish out our walls. We're so close. The pods have arrived. That means... Yeah, it's time to go on a rescue mission to save someone's life. Uh, no one nearby, is there? No. Back home, I have someone finishing off the pod launcher. This should have been finished already. I queued it up ages ago. Come on, come on. Ali, get that done. And... Beautiful. Tezex, this is your mission, buddy. You're going all out here. Uh, we're going to load the launch pod. Tezex is going all by their lonesome. They're, they're no support, no nothing, just them. All right, hop in. Ooh, then we just have to launch it. Uh, select a location and hopefully land them somewhere where they don't immediately get shot upon landing. I'm thinking here's good. Uh, yep. Godspeed, buddy. <laughs> now, we just need to get them down here and rescue those pods and get out of there. Okay, perfect. So we'll generate a caravan. For this caravan, we put in Tessex and the res three Resurrector mech serums. Uh, then we hit send. Yep, yep, don't care about the food or anything like that. That's, that's grand. Don't have to care. Then... Okay, forming caravan. Load them all into it quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, perfect. Now, draft them up. Quickly zip around the corner. And time to fire skip. Yep. Come on, come on, get out of there. Someone's life is depending on you getting out of here quickly. Done. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since we've done one of those. All right, Tessex. Good job. Gear wise, gonna want you to drop those resurrector mech serums. And where's Ali? Shall we have her do the uh, the honors of bringing her own son back to life? That that might be the most appropriate thing. First off, we'll just get Ali to open that up. Uh, not exactly the nicest thing in the world, but once you've done that, we can use. Go ahead, go for it, go for it. Now, uh, let's see. Alright, so, Mitchell's is now back to life. Right? So, critical success, colonists rescue. Is she still going to be unhappy? Hey, she's no longer unhappy that her son is dead. And she's got cancelled for the other thing, so... Yeah, she's actually going to be in a good mood for a while. I suppose her son did just come back from the dead. And he immediately wants human meat. Well, that's probably not a bad sign at all. No, not grand. Be grand. Just uh, rescue them there. Wait, weren't they married? Yep. Yeah. Are, are Mitchell and Azul still married? Uh, opinion of my wife, Azul. Cra okay, so the wife is still the wife. Is she going to be mind to be marrying to a zombie? You know what? Doesn't matter. She'll probably be fine with it. I mean, this colony is pretty liberal when it comes to things like that. 
our defenses are finished, so to speak. Uh, what we have done here is made a curtain wall all the way around the outside. Well, a curtain octagon. This curtain octagon goes all the way around here and has a little gap in the center. But how do we convince them to go in there? Well, that's all to do with the turrets. We have turrets set up in a pattern all the way around. So this one covers this wall segment, this one, this one covers this wall segment, and then I put one in the middle just to make sure we're doubling down everywhere. And that means that none of the sappers should try and dig through any of those walls, and it should convince them all to come in from this general direction here, which means we should have this one area that we just have to defend really well. We can start thinking about, well, pillars with drop roofs on them, maybe a few even uh, explosive charges, and maybe even some lines of traps, just to, like, if 400 enemies come again, which they will, even if we do know which direction they're coming from, it might still be difficult. But however, let's uh, let's see how it works out this time around. We've also kept all the animals inside. Everyone's here. Literally everyone. So, hmm. Oh, and that reminds me. We need to make friends with the Empire. So, we've sent them a gift. The kind of gift that says, we should be friends. Uh, let's see if they accept it. What, what? Who am I kidding? Of course they're going to accept it. Uh, oh, wow. We give them too much. That's going to improve our, uh, our standing with the Empire by 144. That's uh, good to know. Anyway, let's see what the next attack wave has in store for us. Oh, and looks like the Exodus Empire has allied with us. Oh, which reminds me, we can get rid of the, the death of Mitchell. Mitchell's back again. Uh, successful role change. Yeah, we're going to have to make some more role changes again. Well, I want Steven to go back to being the, uh, the immoral guide again. The other person was just temporary. No offense. Okay, where's the attack? And don't pause for too long. If you pause for too long, you scare me. Okay, you're scaring me just a little bit. Seriously? Come on! Don't break us on our first new... Like, if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what we can do. I think we're just dead at that point. Okay, that's... Looks like a nice big blob. Hmm. a pretty dense amount of them. Enemies-wise, 510 enemies! 510. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Right. Let's see. They are attacking immediately. They will avoid your turret's field of fire and notice some of your traps. Well... Right. Whatever. Come on in. Oh, the game is chugging like crazy. It does not like that. Okay, they seem to be moving in generally the right direction. Okay, let's get the team together and lined up and make sure we have a mark mark marksmanship command ready to pop. This is 500 enemies, right? Numbered, like, a lot? A lot, a lot? All right, the whole team is good to go. We're all lined up. Uh, Lightwave is ready to pop the marksmanship command, which we should probably pop. Dear, oh, they're popping out of each other already. Why are you popping out now? There's five hundred of you. It's going to take you a while to pop out of that. Dear Lord Jesus! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. I think we really have hit the weird point. Well, I suppose we're playing on a 500% difficulty multiplier on top of an attack, uh, a combat only tile, which has a 250% difficulty multiplier on top of that. And we're playing at, well, 10,000, maxed out 10,000 points. So we're just getting the maximum, maximum size raids you can possibly ever get. That would explain why it's maybe a little bit trickier than I was expecting. Just, just a tad. All right, pop that marksmanship command. Now, these walls have been positioned back just far enough that splash from our shots should never actually hit the walls. Oh, that reminds me, should we see if any of them are worth hiring? I mean, I know it seems kind of pointless, but it'd be nice to have a look. Never mind. There, there's too many, and it's not worth it. I want to see if we actually live through this. That's sort of my, my concern. Well, these people are leveling up. Okay, Tessex, where are you? We're going to need you to be doing some skipping. Oh, wait, yeah, you're completely out of sight focus because of your... Oh, God. And how many have we killed so far? That's 486, 85. Hmm. I think we need to retreat back to a choke point. Yeah. There's too many of them. And they're all melee orientated. Right there? Yeah, I'm thinking right there is our best bet. In the door, in the door, in the door. OK, 
okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, you, back to there. You, back to there. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Sean, how did you go down like that already? Uh, we're gonna have to put more people up front to tank then. Ooh, okay, who's our toughest pawns? I'm gonna send Tice and Brian up front to do a little bit of tanking. No, I don't think our walls are gonna last much longer. They're wooden walls, they weren't really designed for this. Good Lord, Ali, did I not tell you to move from there a while ago? Come on. Oh, there goes the door. Uh, we're gonna need another line over there. Jeez, how many of them have we killed? They should be just dropping in droves. 355. Okay, so we've killed about 150 of them. Good, I suppose. <laughs> this is probably the most fun I've ever had on a tile ever. Alright. Uh, we need to find another couple of tough pawns to soak damage. I think uh, Douglas and uh, Miko? Actually, no, Miko might be our... No, Miko's our caster. Actually, Miko, maybe you've got something going on. I keep forgetting we have Miko as a caster. Do you have anything that can help us out here? Vertigo Pulse could, you know, kind of slow them down. That might be an idea. But no, no, no. We need, uh, we need people to hold the door first. All right, pawn movement coming up. Come on. The problem is everyone moves really slowly because of, well, just the way we are. Ah. That's too many getting in the door, guys. Th did that guy just walk all the way around? Like, pretty baller. Guys, shoot him. Just shoot him. It, like, you walked all the way around Grumpy Grand to stab her in the ah, fine. Yeah, this is a problem. I'm letting them fire as best they can, but we're kind of stuck right now. Alvarez, kill them. That person there is causing so much loss of productivity in terms of bullets getting shot. Why are... why can I not hear bullets being fired? They seem to be forcing their way through the, the choke points, even no matter how much bullets we put into them. This feels like a zombie horde survival, and we're not surviving. No. No. I can't see... Did they break? They're fleeing? Why are they fleeing? They, they can't be fleeing. There's, there's 282. What the hell? I, I'm not sure this is survivable as is. We need some way to get them to pop out of each other. Also, we need some way to clean up our, our, our front porch. It's covered in corpses. And the game is moving at absolutely frames per second. Hmm. All right, let me see who needs rescue. There's a lot of downed people. A lot of downed people. Thankfully, we've got two uh, get-out-of-jail-free cards, but at this rate, I'm not sure we can survive here. Hmm. I think I might need to rethink this whole thing or come up with some other way to survive it because that was brutal. 500 enemies with spears charging down upon us? We could not hold out. Hmm. Hmm. You know what we need? We need more DACA. I really thought we were dead there. I did not think we were going to survive that one. We were surrounded, there was just more of them pouring in, and I didn't think they were going to break. I think the only reason they left was they did enough damage. They actually downed three people, and they basically took mercy on us at that point. Normally you have to kill about two-thirds of them for them to break, and we, we didn't even kill half. We killed 259. Okay, we killed about half. Ah, uh, Crap. Okay, so... when. They were walking past here. I think this turret triggered them, which is why they popped out of each other. This has been told to me before, put turrets, you know, in certain locations, but I think it was the doors I had left out that caused me the problem last time. I walled in the turrets. So if we were to, say, build a turret, oh, say, over here, and surround it in doors, and put them each side of this, that should mean all of them should pop out of each other before they enter here, meaning we just have to deal with the stream of people coming in towards an army of minigunners, which should, in theory slaughter them. Uh, but that's about the only plan I've got left. As it is, if we have to keep going through this, we can't. We can't keep surviving attacks like this daily. It'd be fun to try, but we'd get wiped out pretty quick. Anyway, I am I'm way over budget on time for these anyway, but uh, I think I'm going to cut this out here today. Tomorrow, or next episode, is going to be all about maybe putting in a few turrets there, trying to get them to pop out of each other, and hopefully surviving. Otherwise, we may just have to, well, 
die. It'll be unfortunate, but I don't really see any other options. And we're up to 635 jade. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.